Now we go to personal knowledge. <laughs> Monks, knowing and seeing in this way, would you run back to the past thus? Were we in the past? Were we not in the past? What were we in the past? How were we in the past? Having been what? What did we become in the past? No, venerable sir. Knowing and seeing in this way, would you run forward to the future thus? Shall we be in the future? Shall we not be in the future? What shall we be in the future? How shall we be in the future? Having been what? What shall we become in the future? No, venerable sir. Knowing and seeing in this way, would you now be inwardly perplexed and confused about the present thus? Am I? Am I not? What am I? How am I? Where has this being come from? Where will it go? No, venerable sir. Monks, knowing and seeing in this way, would you speak thus? The teacher is respected by us. We speak as we do out of respect for the teacher. No, venerable sir. Knowing and seeing in this way, would you speak thus? Recluse says this. And we speak thus at the bidding of the recluse. No, venerable sir. Knowing and seeing this way, would you acknowledge another teacher? No, venerable sir. Knowing and seeing in this way, would you return to the observances, tumultuous debates, auspicious signs of ordinary recluses and Brahmins, taking them as the core of your holy life? No, venerable sir. Do you speak only of what you have known, seen, and understood for yourselves? Yes, venerable sir. And there it is, knowledge and vision. You see it? <clears throat> Good monks, so you have been guided by me with the Dhamma, which is visible here and now, immediately effective, inviting inspection, onward leading to be experienced by the wise for themselves. For it was with reference to this that it has been said, monks, this Dhamma is visible here and now, immediately effective, inviting inspection and onward leading to be experienced by the wise for themselves. Wise means seeing dependent origination, theory. That's what it means. And his taints were destroyed by him seeing with wisdom. What did that mean? By him seeing how everything works. Here comes the round of existence now from the beginning. Bhikkhus, the descent of the embryo. It takes place through the union of three things. Here there is the union of the mother and the father, but the mother is not in season and the Gandhava is not present. It means the egg is not there. In this case, no descent of an embryo takes place. Nothing joins together and becomes a, an embryo. Then here there is a union of the mother and father and the mother is in season, but the Gandhava is not present again. In this case, too, no descent of the embryo takes place. It means consciousness does not come into the embryo. It doesn't work. This is where you have a, uh, I forget what it's called. The mother has an embryo, but it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't work. It doesn't grow. It has to be removed. But when there is the union of the mother and father, and the mother is in season and the Gandhava is present, through the union of these three things, the descent of the embryo takes place. The mother then carries the embryo in her, room, her womb for nine or ten months, depending on what calendar you live on, okay, with much anxiety as a heaven burden. 
And then at the end of nine or 10 months, the mother gives birth with much anxiety as the heavy burden as well. And then when the child is born, she nourishes it with her own blood. For the mother's breast milk is called the blood by the noble one's discipline. And when he grows or she grows up and the faculties mature, the child plays at such games as toy plows, tip cat, somersaults, toy nin, uh, windmills, toy measures, toy carts, and toy bows and arrows. But when he grows up and his faculties mature still further, the youth enjoys himself provided and endowed with the five chords of sensual pleasure. Forms cognizable by the eye. Sounds cognizable by the ear. Odors cognizable by the nose. Flavors cognizable by the tongue. The tangibles cognizable by the body that are wished for and desired, agreeable and likable, connected with sensual desire and provocative of lust. <laughs>